Hi, I'm Seb, and today we will be bypassing the Chrome switch on your Luna X2 and Luna Z1. So the goal is just basically to remove the switch from the bike and also everything in between the battery and the Chrome switch. So basically we're just shorting out these two connectors from inside the battery. So that way the battery will always be on. You will never get any shutdowns while riding, error 30, error 25, and all kinds of weird behavior that can result from uh, dust, water, oxidation, grease, anything that could make the contacts less springy. And while you're riding your bike on a trail, you know, with vibration, you can lose the contact for a few milliseconds and that will lead to issues. So what you need is a cutter, depending on what type of crimp you'll be doing. In my case, a plier, a Phillips head, and that's about it. Multimeter is optional, it's just to show you at the end once I'm done. So, I removed the four Phillips head screws. I used a Phillips number one screwdriver. Got four screws, remove the bottom. Then, as you can see, it's pretty packed. Right here, like, the wires are there and it's a real tight fit. So I don't think adding a crimp here will fit. But at the bottom here, there's plenty of space. So if these two wires would be running anywhere here, there's plenty of space to use a crimp like this or any other type of connector that could short out two wires together. I'm gonna use the phone crimp which is also known as an alarm system crimp, is an easy way because you don't have to skin the wires. You just basically put the two red wires inside of there, use a plier and crush it. There's like tiny teats inside of uh, this connector and basically it will pierce through the insulation and you will make a permanent contact. It is a permanent thing. It's normally very good, very durable and uh, it's perfect for applications where there's no current flowing. And it's the case here. There's no current flowing through these wires. It's only a contact. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut my two connector, my two wires right from here. One, two. Then I'm gonna put the wires right here where, where I want them. I'm gonna slide them, the little crimp here, right over it. Sometimes it's catching inside and then you slide the other one. Just want to make sure they're both at the bottom and of course when you're having issue it's right wire while I'm filming so there you go it's all good and just use a plier and crush it Just to show you that, that it works, I'm going to measure the voltage. I got 51 volts, so that means the battery is always on. So now what I want to do is make sure that this little crimp here is at the right spot. And then I would just tighten the, uh, the four screws and I'm done. So hope that helps.